Hi, it's Neil Ball from workwithneilball.com. I'm making this video because I've just upgraded my PC with a new operating system. I've upgraded to Windows 8.1 and I encountered a problem with trying to use my Blue Yeti Pro microphone with Windows 8.1. I couldn't get the driver to install and when I started looking for the solution, I found that a lot of people were having the same problem as me and there doesn't seem to be a satisfactory answer to the problem on the blue yet the blue website so i've decided to put this video together for you to show you how i solved the problem so first of all what i want to show you is i want to show you the what i actually did and how i did it so if you go to the blue website and you go onto the Blue Yeti page. I've got, actually got the Yeti Pro. You'll see there's a tab here that says Drivers. And when you click that, you'll see this box here. And you have an option of installing the Windows 8 driver and obviously all the others. So you can download these. Now, logically, I'm using Windows 8 or 8.1, which I think pretty much the same as far as I could tell for the driver so I thought Windows 8 will work on a Windows 8.1 so I will download the Windows 8 driver which seems like a pretty logical thing to do so I downloaded the driver and what actually happened was I I, I downloaded it and I ended up with bear with me here I ended up with a with a zip file which is this zip file here and I unpacked that and opened up the contents and if you go straight into there you come up with this this setup file here so so if I then run this program and it didn't work in fact what happened was when I when I first tried to run this it didn't this this first part of this process, which I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and do that. What, what it actually did was, let's turn that sound off. When I ran this program, it got to the end, and then in fact I'll do it just to show you, but I think it'll install okay on my system. But what I found was, if you, if you see on here now, it's a setup has completed successfully. Well, when I did it, it actually said that the setup had failed. So what I had to do was I had to. Uh, what I did then was I then started looking into it, trying to find out what the problem was. And I went back to the Blue website, which I'll come back onto here. And on the Blue website, it says that if you notice here, it says Windows 8 still not working. So I thought, oh, right, there's a problem. There's a solution here. So I try this. So I click try this workaround and I read all of this. And it said that what I needed to do was to change the compatibility on the properties. So what I did then was I one second, let me shut this down. Yeah, so what, what I did then was I then went back to the I went then, I then went back to my my installation and I tried to install it again. So when you actually install this program, what it actually does is it will create a number of folders in your a file, a folder in your C drive, and it will put a pile of files in there. So to, to change the compatibility on this, what you need to do is go down to properties. So you right click it, right click on that file, go down to properties, and go to compatibility. And this compatibility normally would be, wouldn't be checked, it'd be like that. So you click that, and you change this drop down to Windows 7. So I did that, applied it, set OK, and I ran this again. And what happened then was, it went, it went like this. So it went through the same process. This time, in fact, there you go, it's actually failed this time because that's what it did my first time I used it, it failed. So to, to get around that, well, if you've already tried to install this and you failed, then what you need to do is you need to remove the files that you've installed. Now, to do that, if you go into C drive, you'll see a folder that says this. I don't, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that, but it looks like the, the T-H-E-S-Y-C-O-A. And that folder has got all the information, all everything that's been installed from there. So 
what you need to do is is remove that so just delete it so in fact i think i've got something open which is probably stopping it so i'll just shut that sure you want to quit yep right try again right so now what it's going to do is it's going to delete all those full files in that folder so you can do a fresh install so having done that i went back into back into downloads back into windows 8 back into here and i tried to install this software and like this So as you can see, setup is completed successfully. So when it's finished, you then click next. And what it does then is it now will it will now run the USB driver installer, which is what it says here. So it's this little tick box is going to do that. So you click tick or you click finish and you go to this program. And it comes up with this, which looks very similar. And now it's now going to install the USB drivers. So you click next. And now what it does is it will now look for your Blue Yeti microphone. It now comes up with this warning saying, setup requires that the device is plugged in. Please connect the device you want to install. Make sure it is turned on. If your device is currently connected, please unplug it and replug it in. I did all of that. I did shutdowns of my computer, I did everything, I, I reinstalled it, I uninstalled it, I reinstalled it, everything I did didn't work. So I'm, I'm really frustrated at that point because I want to get my Blue Yeti Pro on because the sound through a webcam is dreadful, as you can tell, this is awful. <laughs> I know it is because I tried the recording before. So, so what you need to do now is, so you can't get beyond that point, that's really the, the, the top and bottom of it. And I needed to find a solution at that point, just as you may well do if you've got to this point. So you cancel that and come out of it. And what you need to do is, if you go back into your C drive, where that folder is there, this, this folder, you need to remove that folder. So but delete that folder, you don't need it. So you get rid of all of the contents from that folder. And then what you need to do is you need to go into downloads again, Sorry, what, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, what you need to do now is you need to go back to the Yeti Blue website and you need to go to click back. And you, what you need to do is download the Windows 7 driver because it's a bit bizarre that you're downloading a Windows 8 driver if you think about it, but you were running it to run on Windows 7. Oh, well, that probably doesn't make sense. I'm not sure, but I suspect if you try to install a Windows 8 driver on a Windows 7 machine, it might not work. So <laughs> if you think about it, the instructions on here don't actually make sense. So rather than do that, download the Windows 7 driver. So I download, so obviously click that, you'll download it. And when you, when you do that, what you'll end up with is you will end up with a folder a zip file like this one here, which is the Windows 7 driver. Okay, and what you need to do with that is you need to unzip it and open up the folders until you get to this this section here. So you should have a folder full of different files and things in there. And what you're looking for is the one that's called setup.exe, setup.exe. So really straightforward. That's what you need to run. But before you run it, you need to change the compatibility. So I think this is where the instruction on the blue website is wrong. What it's, what it's saying is incorrect because what it fails to tell you is that you need to install the Windows 7 version rather than the Windows 8 version in compatibility mode. So same process again, right click on the setup and then come down to properties and go to compatibility and you've got a checkbox here again as i showed you before you you need to what you need to do there is it's got compatibility mode run this program in compatible compatibility mode so check that box and take select from the drop down windows 7 apply it okay 
And now you want to double click it and run it. And here's what will happen. First thing is install. Okay, completing the Yeti Pro Audio Driver V.129 setup wizard. So it's, it, it's completed it at that point. Finish. And what you'll see now is, I don't know if you noticed that, I've actually got my device manager on, on my screen. Now, if you don't know what the device manager is, if you've got on Windows 8, if you just go down to the bottom corner, this little symbol, right, right click it, you can actually select device manager there. This is device manager. And as I was installing that, the Blue Yeti Pro showed up on this list. It wasn't there before. So the driver has now installed and it's recognized that the Blue Yeti, the Blue Yeti microphone is actually connected to my PC, which is good news. The other thing is, is that this piece of software here also works if you need it. I previously used this on a Vista machine and I had to use this, so I'm not sure if I need to use it on here, but anyway, that's there as well. So everything's working beautifully there. It's all working fine. So what I should be able to do now, if I just come back over to here, go back to here, and what I'll do is I will change, I'm just going to edit my audio settings so that I'm using the blue microphone which hopefully should mean that the sound quality that you're getting right now because my microphone's hanging above me should be sounding an awful lot better than the really poor quality microphones that you get inside a normal webcam so hopefully that has explained why you can't ex install it on your machine as well as in the same way that i couldn't install it on mine and hopefully i've explained it clear enough for you for you to understand what you have to do thank you for watching my video if you need any more tips and tricks subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on twitter sometimes i put tweets out with things that i might have i also send out inspirational tweets and make money online type of offers and also if you want to subscribe to my newsletter I send out emails telling, talk, talking about different ways of making money online. Sometimes I'll send out marketing information, how to get access to training information, that kind of thing. If you go to my website, which is workwithneilball.com forward slash take action, you'll actually see that it's actually on the screen below me here. So if I move my hands in, you'll see there. Yeah, it's across the screen. So thank you very much. And until next time, goodbye.